that you came into my house. Oh, if you're asking me what's in my drink, this time, it's a non-squeaky foisted human helium balloon potion. It's a good thing I... Oh, and... Oh, I, I was, forgot to, to tell you something. Remember my community post I posted? The one about which kind of voice do you prefer every time I blow up but like a balloon? Like, do you want my... My voice, do you like my voice chickmunk helium voice? My normal voice? I don't know, or both. So the winner is my normal voice. So because my normal voice hopeful wins, I request the scientists to make the person no squeaky voice the chemical in it. You know, no squeaky voice this time. So it could leave my voice normal voiced. So you can hear what I sound like without sounding like a chickmunk. Okay, here he goes. I did told the, I did request the scientist, no chemical that will make my voice squeaky as a chick one. So, and you know, no, no helium squeaky chick monk voice in it, ingredient in it, like Combrando. Oops, I don't know why I say Combrando. And now, I hope this test works. A little different. It it tastes a little different than the one I drink that tastes like water until it turned my voice squeaky. It feels a little different. Mm. Kind of sour a bit, but sour water, I would say. More as you know, taste sour as a lemon. And now I could now I gotta get changed so I can get ready to fly. If you're asking me where where are we going, we're going to Little Tokyo in Los Angeles, California. I know it's take a long miles to get there to Little Tokyo, but it's gonna be fun, you know, flying around the world. So I'm gonna look like a hot air human balloon so I can fly around the world. Just like you saw the story or the movie about 90 days around the world and the chipmunk adventure. I'll be, I'll be outside. <sighs> okay, I'm blowing up. Wait, I'm just trying to test my voice. Testing my voice, one, two, three. I don't sound so squeaky. Squeaky as a chipmunk right now. I think that kind of potion ingredient request is working. I'm gonna congratulate the scientist. I'm gonna give him a bonus. You know, like money rewards for doing a good job. And now he is my fan scientist guy, my scientist fan.
sorry. I realize I'm not flying yet. I have to wait until I'm, fu I'm fully inflated. Okay, I think I look fully enough right now. I could it be I'm I'm turning blue right now while well, I was inflating thus maybe I did request a scientist is at the add some sort of ingredient to, you know a, a special secret ingredient that could turn me blue you know blue is a blueberry if not then hmm, I think I must have you know eating the blueberry gummy bears I think I think it has to do with the blueberry gummy bears that mix with my the potion in, in my stomach maybe that makes sense how am I turning blue I don't remember eating the pie slice hmm must be the bird I hear anyway it's a, it I have a feeling it doesn't have to be a blueberry pie slice it could be anything that is blueberry in order to mix with the potion. Blueberry ingredient can mix with potion in order to turn me blue. Blue is a blueberry. Okay, now that I'm fully full, I'm getting ready to fly. Now on the count of three, I'm ready to fly. One, two, three! of Los Angeles, California. Isn't Little Tokyo amazing? This is just like you saw in Tokyo on YouTube. Tokyo, Japan. I remember how much I loved Tokyo and Japanese culture stuff when I was young, when I was an 18-year-old. I'm surprised I have, I lost my pass, passion for Japanese culture. But a good thing I learned all these, but now I'm switching from my passionate learning, passionate learning from Japanese culture to Mexican culture. But I can still love Japanese culture, especially anime. <laughs> Say, would you like to fly around Little Tokyo with me on this flying world tour? Not, uh, oops, not, well, not exactly world tour, city tour. Okay, everybody. Let's fly! Let's go! Look, I could see cars from down here! I see Japanese people and many people from different worlds like Mexico, America, Brazil, more! I can't wait to say hello to everybody! I think some of them see me from up here! Hello, everybody! Hello, ladies and gentlemen! Hey, ho! Oops! I... Oh, wait. I don't think that's not the right pro Japanese pronunciation. It's... Oheyo means hello in Japanese. <laughs> Oheyo!
Did you see that, guys? Look at all these red paper lanterns. You may not recognize them from China, but they can be used in Ch Japan as well. Because Japan and, and Ch Japan and China, Korea, they're all Asian related. Even, even my parents' home country, Philippines, the one where my family used to live. My family and I may be Filipino, but we're Asian. So I can love, since some of my family members or some of my family's friends are Mexicanos, so that means I can learn Mexican culture also, not just Filipino culture and Japanese culture I'm learning, especially Chinese culture. Now, let, let's move to the next one. Come on! Japanese historical rock. I know you guys think it's just a rock, but of course we can Google up what kind of rock is this that has to do with Japan or Tokyo. Oh, I gotta fly now. Let's move on to the next one. Come on. Oh, hello. I think some people see me, but they wouldn't mind. Especially I'm flying around.
What a beautiful t little Tokyo trip I've been... <sighs> now I'm starting to get used to this high-flying hot air human balloon tour. Or a bit... Uh, well, not just a tour. Tour adventure. I think I could put it that way if that sounds right. This is going to turn my diaries into real stories like Fairy Violet High Flying Human Balloon Adventure. Something like Tweety's High Flying Adventure movie I've been watching. And some of the movies involving flying around the world really got me inspired. So that's why I feel like I'm going to make some flying around the world and cities stories. And episodes as well. Of course, I could be a blueberry. If anyone request me to fly around as a flying blue human balloon instead of a normal skinned human balloon. Just like I am right now, I'm blue. And before I can go home, I gotta say goodbye. Goodbye! Oh, what's the... the Japanese word for goodbye? What was that? Oh yeah! Sayonara! Sayonara means goodbye in Japanese, that's it! Let me get this straight, so... Good morning, in, or hello, is Oheyo. It's a Japanese word for good morning, or hello. And Konnichiwa is a Japanese word for good afternoon, or good evening, something like that. Arigato means thank you. And now I forgot what's a Japanese word for you're welcome, but I'll learn, I'll study more about Japanese words. But I know Arigato, and of course, and not to mention Japanese word like itadakimasu. It means time to eat or let's eat. You know, itadakimasu. That's that's Japanese phrase for let's eat. Like I'm ready to eat now, or let's get ready to eat. Either way. And now I'm gonna say sayonara to everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Sayonara. Arigato, arigato for let me flying around the world, everybody. Dear Japanese people, and lots of people from around the cultural worlds like Mexico, Brazil, and Russia, and more. Goodbye, and see you now. Adios. Goodbye, and happy trip in little Tokyo. Bye bye, everybody. See you now. See you real soon. Let's go. I'm, I'm so glad you found me. It took me like long hours for me to fly myself back home. And now here I am. It's a good thing I grab a soda upon reaching it to my home. And when I drink that soda, well, not gonna lie, I don't see any soda outside my Liberate Cottage. So instead of relying on sodas all the time, all I do is float myself, you know, I float myself backwards and then just to hit my back into the wall, and when I did, it burped me, so that kind of method really working. And now, I'm fully deflated and I'm normal colored again. Oh, if you're asking me what's that I'm reading, it's a Japanese English dictionary book. I just thought I got it ever since Little Tokyo, so since Japanese came from Tokyo, and Tokyo is part of Japan country. So I got this book for me to learn. Like, oh, hey, oh, means hello or good morning. And konnichiwa means good afternoon. And sayonara means goodbye. And now I can see those few words I'm learning. Let's see. Cat means Nico. 
Niko is a Japanese word for cat. Inu is a word for dog. Oh, dollar, that's a good one. Okay, daru is for dollar in Japanese. Aruka is for dolphin. No mean, no mi mono means drink. Iriru is word for get off. Get in is noru. Sensi is for gentleman. That's interesting for me to learn. What's the word for lady? That's a good one. Good thing this dictionary is useful when you want, when you want to study Japanese. Buchin is a word for lady. Oh, kitten. Koniko is for kitten. Ni Niko is adult word for cat, and Koniko is a baby word for kitten. Now those are differences for you for us to learn. Now you want now you understand the importance of learning Japanese culture in Little Tokyo. I know Japanese culture might get very interesting when you are the anime fan, just like me. And especially Kingdom Hearts is part of Japanese anime video game involving the Disney characters, you know, Donald and Goofy, Mickey and Minnie, and lots of characters, both Disney and Pixar. One of these days I might get the Kingdom Hearts 3 so I can try it out for myself. Oh, I think it's time for me to take a shower, brush my teeth, wash my face, and then I'm getting ready to bed. I couldn't have fun without you. Oh. Arigato. Goodbye. In Japanese speaking, I want to say is, Arigato, everybody. Sayonara. Thank you. Goodbye. And, and now I'm going to teach the word, what's the word, Japanese word for good night? Not, I don't see anything. I don't know why I don't see good night. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll learn. I'll get to the to learning about what I'll look, you know, what I want to say is I'll just Google up what's the Japanese sentence for good night. But regardless, or as you Japanese say, Arigato, Siona! Arigato! Thank you, goodbye!